Hey, yeah. As you can all read on these wonderful slides, I'm here to teach you how you too can make things go fast. Making things go fast is easy. Just like 100 blog posts about it on the internet everywhere, you just do less. Doing less work means doing faster work. You catch things, you reduce the number of resources you use. It's all easy, it's no problem. But the problem is, what is actually slow? Where do we need to make things go faster? And that's what I'm here to teach you. The obvious solution is to measure things. Measuring helps us decide what to do. So we measure, we find out it's something fast, something slow, I mean, sorry. An upload takes too long, I click on a button, it doesn't respond for five seconds. We measure them. We measure what code is being used, we measure how long it takes to run the code, we make a change, we see if it fixes shit, and if not, we keep trying. There's tools for that, like Blackfire, also, uh, Xdebug has some built-in tools for it. There's plenty of things out there. But that has a limitation. It doesn't tell us what the code is actually doing. It only tells us what is taking slow on the specific request. Instead, we want to look at what the code is actually doing. What resources do we use? Do we make a lot of file system operations? Do we make a lot of database calls? But in tools like this, that measure just the time something takes, that doesn't always tell us the problems. So, we have, I just made this wonderful tool called X-Ray, but it lets you, lets you look inside of your Nextcloud instance and tells you exactly what each request is doing. It tells you all the resources that are being used in real time, what file system calls are being made, the locking operations, caching operations, database queries, so you can have prop all with full stack traces, you can have a proper idea as a developer about what the fuck your code is actually doing and why things might be slow. <clears throat> but the main problem with that is that if code is not slow, you're not going to fix it. If you really want to make sure that, every, that you fix something, you have to be frustrated by it. It's call, I call it frustrated, frustration-driven development. <laughs> If you, if, you use your, if you use your Nextcloud instance at home, or so your developer instance, or your own production instance, and things are slow, you get frustrated, you want to fix that shit, so you improve them. That's the main problem, though. Your computer is way too fast. Like, you just recently bought a nice new wonderful laptop that has, like, a lot of gigabytes of RAM. You put all the sliders in the configuration up all the way to maximum because you want to show off with your fancy hardware, and it means that everything goes nice and fast, which is great. Except when you don't want things to go fast. On your local inst on your developer instance, you're working on it. Your database runs locally. All your storage runs locally on SSD. It's all way too fast that you don't actually see the problems that real large setups are running into because they have remote resources. So to solve that problem, I wrote the two only apps that objectively make your Nextcloud experience worse. They add artificial delays to common things that might be that are slow on a lot of larger instances, but are probably really fast in your instance. If you, if for every file system operation or every database query, we can make it slow, so you can really feel the suffering that real users run into while you're developing your app. So you immediately see that your app is doing something wrong without even having to look at it. If everything is false, it's really easy to accidentally write some code that uses a lot of database queries, and you never figure out that's a problem because you have an amazing PC. So with these two apps that you can find on GitHub, you can make your PC less amazing. <laughs> Honestly,